Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well. With a quick update for you on the financial markets. I want to talk to you about the recent drop, the plunge we had in the stock market overnight. As you've probably seen for yourself, the financial markets, the S&P, for example, had a massive gap down and continued to plunge and get slaughtered. Here's the UK FTSE. The European market and the UK market has seen a much worse plunge and drop, as you can see here. This is the UK FTSE, had a massive drop overnight. And let me just bring your attention to what's happening here on this chart as well. I want to discuss to you what's happening here on the financial markets. Before I discuss with you what this chart potentially means, let me first of all bring this to your attention. This is the uh, front page on the MarketWatch website, and they're talking about the coronavirus sending the stock market plunging, as you can see here. So that's their leading story. Uh, they're basically blaming the coronavirus for being the cause for the stock market drop. And here's another sub article they have here. Uh, stocks slump globally as coronavirus spreads beyond China and into Italy and South Korea. Now, first of all, let me make sure I mention this. A few weeks ago, if you saw my video, I did speculate that perhaps the coronavirus could cause a drop in the stock market like it did back in 2014 with the Ebola scare. However, guys, I got to tell you, my theory was wrong. Why was I wrong about that? Take a look at this. That it's absolutely false what the media is saying, that the coronavirus is the reason why the markets are plunging. Take a look. From January all the way to February, the number of cases of the confirmed coronavirus have been rising from January all the way to February. And as you can see also from this piece of data, same thing. All right, so coronavirus cases have been rising from January to February. Now, if the theory that the coronavirus cases are going to cause a plunge in the stock market, if that theory is correct, then you would expect that the stock market would have been going down during this period, right? Wrong. Because the market has done the exact opposite. The market has ignored the coronavirus story. This is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has, in fact, continued to go higher, even through February. In February, as we just saw, as the cases of coronavirus have been rising, the stock market has ignored it and just went up. The same thing is true with the S&P 500 as well. So here's what's laughable about this. As soon as we see a major drop in the stock market like we've seen today, well, guess what? That is when the media starts coming out and say, oh, the reason why the market's going down is because of the coronavirus. Well, guess what, guys? If that's really true, and we've seen already that it's not true, and the coronavirus case has been going up for the last few weeks, in fact, then why didn't the stock market react sooner? Why is it suddenly today? All right, guys, again, guys, the financial media most of the financial media and the uh, mainstream media have absolutely zero intellectual integrity. So when the facts are staring at them in the face, showing them that they're wrong, they don't see that. The reason why the mainstream media wants to blame the coronavirus story on the plunge in the stock market is because most people, again, as I explained to you guys uh, many months ago in 2019, the majority of people need a sophisticated story to explain to them why the market's going down. Most average folks out there want to know a reason. They want to have a reason as to why the market is going down and they blame it on the thing that's most available to them. This is called availability bias. All right, guys, uh, make sure you read that book, by the way, by Nassim Taleb. It's called uh, Fooled by Randomness. Fantastic book. And it shows that majority of folks and mainstream media have this herd mentality. They want to find the cause for something and they usually find the cause in the most available thing to them, which is simply not true. It's complete garbage. Again, it's called the availability bias. I personally don't think we know the real reason why the stock market went down. And I'm going to say this too. I don't think it matters either. It doesn't matter why or what the reason is that the stock market went down because we just follow the charts. We follow the technicals here. Um, it doesn't matter what the real cause or the reason is. Let's go to this chart over here. And I actually think this is a more probable cause. Take a look at this. Notice the NASDAQ. Notice how far away the NASDAQ is from its 200 moving average. Take a look over here. This is where the NASDAQ has been. Look where the 200 daily moving average is. And this is something I mentioned before. Anytime price gets too far away from its 200 daily moving average, or from any of its averages, actually, it doesn't have to be the 200, from any of its averages. But anytime you see a price getting too far away from the 200 or the 50 simple moving average, which is here, usually there's a pullback. And notice, not only is the NASDAQ so far away from its 200 daily moving average, so is the S&P. The S&P 500 also extremely far away from its 200 daily moving average. If you go on the NASDAQ weekly chart too, go on the weekly chart of that, take a look at this. This is absolutely insane. 
and you will see something very interesting. This is a good example of what the economist John Hussman says is when a market is overbought, over bullish, and overvalued. So notice over here, this is the NASDAQ and look how far away it is from the 50 simple moving average there. And also far from its 200 weekly average here as well. Plus the fact, as you will see here, we are overbought on the RSI 21 setting, which is significant here, by the way, guys. So that's a, we can see overbought readings here on the NASDAQ uh, on the weekly charts. Again, in the words of John Hussman, we are overbought, overvalued, and over bullish on the NASDAQ and most of the stock markets out there. Which means this, guys, I'm not even interested in getting long or buying into the stock market until we've seen a reversion to the mean. And as far as the NASDAQ is concerned, I'm looking for pullback at the very minimum to the 21 weekly moving average. I think that could be a reasonable level for the stock market to come back down to. So essentially what I'm looking for is some kind of move that results in the stock market coming back down to the 21 weekly average and then we could potentially find a floor here and then continue the uptrend higher. One more thing I also want to mention is I want to see the RSI getting below the 60 and 50 region here. It's overbought right now. I want to see the RSI here getting below the 60 to 50 region at the very least for me to become interested. Same goes with the S&P going on the S&P here as well. I would like to see the S&P coming back down to the averages at the very least of the 21 weekly average. All right, guys, hope this video helps. And until the next video update, have a fantastic week.